I would kind love to see that. It, it was just in, beautiful. I'm I mean, you, it was all so in metal. Yeah. Twin yeah. turbo 406, yeah. you know, daily dry sump, uh -huh. uh, 4080. The cage is very orga organic in it. It's all okay. kind of weird formed on a Pomax. It's mm -hmm. all Motec. Okay. Um, it's got uh, 488 Ferrari brakes on it that are just, I mean, really? I've studied that for a long time on what caliper nobody's used in this industry uh -huh. and, and <laughs> came across <laughs> that and finished right. it the way I want. So yeah. it's, 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 it's got F1 wheel hub, the real legit, like, you know, nuts. And hey, welcome to Car Guy Confessions, brought to you by ARP. I'm Jeff Smith. This is my car buddy, Cam Benzie, and car builder, Steve Strope, and we're going to tell you some stories. Welcome to another episode of Car Guy Confessions with Jeff Smith. We are sponsored by ARP-Bolts.com. Our pals over there doing this great job making right. bolts and everything. Yeah. My friend Cam Benty here. And our I special am not guest Steve star, Strope. Joey Trepinger? <laughs> yep, yeah. yeah. It's sitting in Steve's spot. Like, 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 this it. is kind of weird because right. usually Steve sits over here, right. but he's off being a hero right That's now. Right. So I'm working I, on yeah. the ponytail. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it, Jeff. Got to get so, the ponytail so out there. Troy was gracious enough to spend a little hour, a hour time with us. And, uh, man, I don't even know where to start. What, I, what my heart tells me to do is, is goes back to our first event where we met, which was the Super Nationals, yep. with your with your pink '66 yep. Chevelle, yeah. you and that your mom and your dad. Days ago. Yeah, yeah yep. that was so much fun. That's that was what started so cool. it. Yep, yep. And we we always do the same kind of cover. And I think we, your car was on that first cover, yep. wasn't it? Yep. yep. And we always crack it. We call it, we called it the crack up on I five cover because we said how many cars can we jam into this shot? And we had like eight or yeah, nine cars absolutely. in one yep. photo with the with the general tire girls out yep. front. Remember them? And uh, yeah, and that was that was the that was what, year, was what year was that? Because I remember that seeing you at the coin. 86, 87 okay. was the first years okay. I had my Chevelle there, and then I think I redid it. So it might have been eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. probably eighty eight yeah. because I I started hot rod in eighty seven. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I was so, in Carcraft, and we had done. Yeah. yeah. Had, I was there for PHR. I was yeah. the editor of PHR yep. at the time, so we had some pictures of your car as yeah. well. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I met Gray. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So it all it all started there for sure. Yeah. So, you know, yep. uh, yep. so, yeah. I'm it's, so it was, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I went over a sophisticated, uh, you know, street riding. Thing, yeah. You know. But uh, uh, no. My claim to fame still is, you know, having the street machine with Boyd wheels on it. You know, like a Ducoy. I didn't even know yeah. what that you was. So right. That was right. fun. Yeah. You bet. Yeah. That was that was crazy. And then you're a trendsetter. <laughs> so you, you built your car in your dad's diesel truck garage. You had, he gave yes. you a little shop off the side, and you yep. built that car yourself. So right? I have. A, um, uh, I grew up in my '66 Chevelle. My mm -hmm. grandfather bought it. Bought it brand new. I remember oh, hauling. I didn't know oh, yeah. that. He bought it, it was your grandfather's new. car. Yeah. Oh, that's bought awesome. Bought it brand new. That's I remember awesome. hauling my '70 CC Honda mini bike in the back seat, going up <laughs> down to the Honda dealer and, <laughs> and everything. And uh, perfect. That's and he was cool. the guy in town. He, my grandfather was a pipe right. fitter, so that's and right. he had a little one car garage adjacent to my dad's automotive shop. Okay. And, and where property. where is this? Okay. So in Mantino, in Mantino, yeah, in, in Illinois. There we go. Same place. South of Chicago. South Chicago, 50 miles. Nice. And so if you need anything welded in town, go see Johnny type thing. My grandfather, okay. we made, he made clothesline poles, basketball poles in his little one car garage. Well, in the winter, he'd back the car out uh -huh. to work in the garage uh -huh. and he backed out a wooden idle. So he put a piece of angle iron under to keep it running. And well, it fell down, went wide open and blew up. So <laughs> that was the start of my hot rodding career. So Perfect. He, I was 14. He gave it to me and, and then we just started piddling with it. And uh -huh. uh, that, that kind of started it all. And then uh, doing it with my mom and dad, obviously in the early days was a big thing. You sure. bet. You know, it was a family yeah. thing. And then luckily met you guys and Gray and got on the magazine stuff, you know, and then came back with my 60 Chevy and then just kind of yes. just yeah. tried to be the, consistent. The green, the green car. Yeah. 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 You know, and that right. was Hot Rod so of the that Year. That was a huge yeah. car. Hot Rod yeah. of the Year. Yeah. First power tour, the victory tour. Mm -hmm. Gray rode with me, drove cross country. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yep. I mean, and the rest survived. is yeah. history. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I miss, I miss Gray because, you know, obviously he was a great influence and I feel bad for these younger guys, you know, sure. that didn't know him. And now, you know, now it's no, not as much print media, you know, which I, we lived for. Sure. And, uh, not, and I not, even yeah, not, and I not even close. Yeah. Not even close. I understand the power of social media, but I'm the old, I'm old school. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. and Gray always, you know, Bonneville was his thing. Oh yeah. And, yeah. and you know, unfortunately he'd passed away before I got into that. And I mean, now that's just taken yeah. away yeah. what we yeah. do. So, so like, I got to tell this great story. I was the editor maybe about, well, it was at my first year, and, and it was after Bonneville, uh -huh. right? So Greg okay. comes back from Bonneville. Right. Okay. And back in the old days at 8490, we had individual offices, right? And the editor actually had a secretary. Imagine that. that. Wow. Yeah. Imagine but, that. So I'm in my office, and the desk faces the door. The door is off the side here. And I, I just out of the corner of my eye saw him walk by, and then he sticks his head back in the door and goes, What? <laughs> 
uh, and then he just goes, it was so bitchin'. Yeah, and man, then walked great, away. Man. Yeah, that was yeah. great. That Mr. Was great Mr. Flip Flop. Yes. <laughs> yep. Unbelievable. You know, because yeah. it was a, it was really a cast of characters. Everybody uh, on staff that, oh, I, that I inherited, Pat Canal. But there were characters. Was, but they, there yes, were characters. They were yeah. absolutely how many, characters. How many writers at Hot Rod when yeah. you were there? Uh, I think five plus, yeah. and then plus me. Because I went so. to Hot Rod in '80 with Lee Kelly, and Gray was there. I was introduced to Gray yeah. with no, you know, no fanfare. It was like, hey, and just, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's right. That was the joke. He, 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 after he knew me a little while, he goes, uh, "Are you married?" I go, like, "No." He's like, he goes, he "says uh, I got a niece, and she's, you know, you guys would be kind of good together." And then he, then he goes, and he walks by the door, and he comes back like seconds later. He goes, "Are you Mormon?" <laughs> and I go like, I went, I went, that no. sounds like great. We cut to the chase. Like, and he yeah. goes, yep. He go, I, I said, no. And he goes, forget about it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never mind. Another thing, I was lucky too because I came in, you know, right at, you know, with, with Boyd and, and Gray and yes. Jack Chisnell, Posey and Angelo from Ford and, and yeah. Barry Lowback and Briz. Mm-hmm. And, and they kind of took me under their wing a little bit as a young guy. And that was that last, really, I think, big group of awesome guys, you yeah. know, slowly yeah. kind of. Who started their own shops yeah, and yeah, owner, and owner operator and, kind of thing? Yeah, and, and when yeah. you had to like, you know, back in the day, as you guys know, you had to build the car, and I had to drag it all the way across country out here, right, right, right. to be in the right place at the yeah. right time, and then consistently yep. do it to get sure. some leverage in the industry. Yeah, you know, now you just take a picture and click it, and you're everywhere. You're everywhere. So you it's, right, uh, right. I call but back then, yeah, I call them Facebook famous now. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, good point. But, uh, That's a good point. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot harder back then to to get. You know, to hook up with manufacturers yeah. and, and everything. Yeah. So it's uh, it's a definitely a different different yeah. deal. It was and a face to face thing. It was hundred percent. You bet. You had to 100%. you had to show up. You had to look presentable because the manufacturers had plenty to pick from Absolutely. back then. Yeah. And yeah. then you know, if you're a good spokesperson, which yep. you always were, you yep. you know, you built yep. your own stuff. You knew what you were talking about. All that is huge. That was the way it was back then. Yes. Today, you know, you're generally talking to somebody who's not really qualified. I hate to say it, not really qualified to judge you in any way, shape. Yeah. And they're no. they're usually a lower echelon person. We all got to start somewhere. That's sure. not what the point is. But they aren't well versed in what's going on, so they right. really don't have perspective. Yeah. They look at a number. They look at clicks. They look at that kind of stuff, which is um, it's a shame because yeah, there are a yeah. bunch of guys that are getting missed. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know that are very creative and very smart, mm. but. But you're right. Facebook famous. Yeah. Really, really well said. And yeah. the other the other point is, and I forget who told me this, but it makes perfect sense. It's like, you know, the goal was to get your car on the cover of, of Hot Rod or Car Craft or Popular Hot Riding or whatever the magazine was, you know, and that was the goal was you get your car on the cover. Now, there is no cover for a digital. It's yeah. just a feature. Right. And there's no cover. So there's right. really no impetus to, to, I mean, you're still going to build the great cars, but now there's no place to showcase yeah. them, which is really kind of no, sad. So. I, we, I miss that bad. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like, uh, yeah. Yeah. like Wheel Hub's done a good job. And when they, when they said they were going to And they're one of the few yeah, that still can do that. And when they said right. they were going to do that, I was thinking, Oof, right. man. Yeah. yeah. Hope you I make want it. it yeah. Good oh, luck. Yeah. Sure. Know, exactly. sure. And, and they've exactly. done it. They've done it right, and it's and it's pretty good. And then now, now Brian's and, got the modern yeah. rotting. Modern rotting, yeah. which is yeah. good. Yeah. And which I mean, is excellent. And, like yeah. I'll still go grab a catalog out of the cabinet before I'll go to the computer and like. Exactly. Oh, you bet. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Well, it's kind of it, it's a fun I, I, chase. It's, you know? it's yeah. definitely a generational thing because I find difficult. You know, even with the electronic catalog, you flip the pages. Yeah. I can't seem to find stuff on there. I could I could go right to the page I need of the ARP catalog, and it's right there. I know where it is. I just have difficulty doing electronics Amen. and then the, the young yeah. kids now they just right, oh, they're right on so it. how old are your kids now uh my daughter is 26 she wow. was six was a division one softball player travel nurse she's a travel nurse now uh-huh. and uh, built a house in arizona okay and, uh, jack uh he just graduated from uh, university of south florida excellent yeah, for nice. business and uh when i first met I guess I'll go past here for a minute. And then Luke, my young boy, is 21. He's okay. a, a left-handed Division One baseball pitcher. Really? Wow. And, uh, nice. um, so so wow. it's been uh, my hobby's been where's it, where's he playing sports? Bradley where's University. It? Oh, I don't know um, where that is. Uh, it's south. Uh, so it's two hours south in Peoria, Illinois. Okay. Okay. Where Cat Caterpillar you're down there. Okay. Uh, and it. They're in the Missouri How could Valley. I have missed it? Yeah, Missouri Valley <laughs> Conference. Uh, so it's uh, their conference yeah. finishes like s- nice. top seven every year. Awesome. You know, wow. they're right out of the Power Five. It's That's good wow. baseball. Very so, good. Love, uh, ba- love but, uh, baseball. My yeah. son played a lot of baseball. He's a 92-mile-an-hour yeah. left-handed guy. So, wow. That's crazy. Um, he's got real wow. potential maybe to – that's drafted, awesome. So, yeah. but that's my hobby, like the softball stuff with my daughter. And sure. My claim to fame is, uh, uh, like we we I coached early on with my daughter, and that was in my. Luckily, I had my mom and dad and Moose and people that worked for me, so we kept relevant. Right. Yeah. Right. All the shows, sure. but I was doing that. I mean, okay. I don't want to miss that. And, yeah. Uh, 
And then, well, that's good, too. Yeah, that's important. No, I it's didn't important. miss any of it. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's awesome. Four years Excellent. of college softball, I made every game in North America. Awesome. Wow. I didn't miss any. So, wow. Uh, that's awesome. Did was, they play outside of North oh, America? Now, Manny heard there. She, she went before that, went down to, like, Dominican and stuff and played oh, with the USA okay. team and stuff. Okay. But, right. Um, it was uh, – that was my hobby, and then the yeah. baseball thing. Now with my mother, son, the, you know, the, that's the base, ready to start. So not to, I know it's a car that. show, but it's like I love watching the baseball. My son played a lot of baseball in Southern California. Yep. Comp, you know, competitive. I mean, oh, I, oh crazy. He yeah. hit one of his last times up at bat. He, he faced Giolito, who oh, yeah. now oh yeah, he's throwing a hundred yeah in high school. Wow. Oh, yeah. So and then, mile an hour fastball. Yeah. Hundred mile an hour fastball, yep. and, and just crazy, crazy talent, but. What a fun time! No, it is yeah. it really absolutely. Is. Yeah. The, yeah. I mean, we've the had their up, ups and downs with my son. I mean, he's he's got the juice because he's a lefty, and you know most yeah. lefty starters in the MLB are 90, 92. But he's yes. got a good change up, whatever. But moves. We had Tommy yeah. John surgery last year, Ugh. so okay. he strained yeah. his elbow. And luckily, yeah. we went to the. I knew somebody, knew somebody, and made a call, and we went down to nice. Texas to the Dallas, right. uh, the Texas Rangers. Doctor nice. did the surgery. Oh, okay. We Very nice. Texas Excellent. and did it, so it was. Yeah. that's right. It was yeah. a good thing because the bill of health is important if you can yeah. get to the next level. Sure. Tommy John's common. Yes. I mean, Very. Uh, Otani just had it yes. in September and he got a seven hundred million dollar contract. So I mean, that's <laughs> just bad. part of the gig. But, but not all yeah. at once. Not yeah, all yeah. at once. <laughs> but anyway, like the. Did you build him any custom parts for his yeah, arm? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no. I got all the damn. Yeah. You know, did you do all, all the leftovers? That's yeah. right. There yeah. you go. But Jack, he came back from South Florida, and when I met Brizio back, shit, I was probably eighteen. And he, I don't, he's seen the Chevelle. We're talking, it's a nice car. He goes, man, you should build parts, man. Take it from me. I've been building cars my whole life. I wish I'd have been building, been building parts, parts and making money. Yeah, that which way, was right? probably yeah. really good advice, yes. right? Because course, the volume is oh, yeah. strange. Yeah. And, so he didn't know. listen, you know. And yeah. he, told, he told my dad and he didn't listen. You know? <laughs> and then now Jack, my son, we've got a little parts business, Rad Rides Performance uh-huh. Parts, and yes. he does that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. so finally we yeah. uh, dipped into that a little bit. And, nice. Uh, sure. uh, and we're trying to make stuff that fixes problems. I mean, a little bit of it's cosmetic, but mm-hmm. the more majority of what we're doing is is problem solving. Cool. That's so great. That's it's great. Uh, it, it's a good thing, uh-huh. you know. But it's good to have him. Uh, he came back home and, and worked at the shop for about a year. He does solid works and stuff too. But then he moved back to Florida, so we we have a remote rad rides location in Florida. He ships out of there. <laughs> Not uh, bad. Not excellent. bad. But it's excellent. good. But he's part of it, and uh, um, it's, it's good. So yeah. yeah. How fun yeah. is that? Yeah, yeah that's it, great. It's good. That's so fun. we uh, yeah. we spend half our time, you know, half the year doing that, you know, the car stuff, and ha- honestly, half the year doing Bonneville stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's really become a big part of what we do. Yeah. Nice. Um, we built, you know, four cars now, and. Um, yeah, and so, had a lot so of let's, success. let's start yeah, off let's with that. that because that that was like a major change for you guys, yeah. to, and that was that was, was the blowfish. Yeah, part, blowfish. Right? yeah, that was the yeah. first one. Yeah, yeah. that was well, the well, master car. with a with a with a four cylinder, four cylinder, yeah, yeah. 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 three liter, yeah. three yeah. liter. So you know, we always you know with doing the power tour right away, great, and then every year we did the power tour. So that mm-hmm. that really you know you guys know you start driving in things cross country and you figure out what you did wrong you're not going to do that again <laughs> right bad. so it, and i was a mechanic working for my dad out of school so i was a mechanic before i was ever like a, a making anything look good mm-hmm. so i was more from the approach of making it work yeah and uh yeah. so that doing the power tour and all that really kind of made us get better at that and then you know when built the car for george you know poteet and he's the one that drug me out to bonneville and he's uh-huh. like you got to come out here you know history right. crosses over and all that yeah and, Went out there as a spectator in, I think, 05, and then we built the Blowfish and raced it in 06. Okay. And, nice. uh, and that had the three-liter USEC midget motor with the hep- Pro Stock Hemi head on it, which yeah. was just awesome combination. Yeah. Yeah. Went 269 with it, set the record. 269 wow. set the record. What, yeah. what, what class was uh, it? That was F. Okay. F, wow. F uh, blown fuel. Blown fuel. Comp Q. Wow. Is that what it had? Did it have the Flowmaster stuff on it? At that it point? had the Flowmaster muffler in there you it. Go. Yeah, that was, yeah uh, we had the big five inch, uh, the big five inch outlaw muffler on. <laughs> there you it, go. Going through the center of the car. That so. was uh, David um, Featherston and yeah. McClellan. They, yeah, they were yeah, all okay. involved yeah. in that. Yeah, we've yeah, got yeah. a, uh, I've got a picture that's, Jesus, twelve by, it's three sheets, so I guess it's twelve by eight that okay. David or that Featherston took yeah. a shot. Oh, no, Richard Small did. Richard oh, did took he? the okay. shot really? out, the really? picture at the time, and I nice. got blown up in the shop of the blowfish Excellent. out there. But Very cool. So that was that was an interesting experience. You know, we go out there and we bring the blowfish, and I'll never I'll never forget it. We're going into tech, and I, you can just hear the whispers like, "Oh, look, they brought a show car out here." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, more than one guy said it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And to me, it's like if you're building this, you're building that. It needs to be done right. Right. You know? sure, it, sure. If you get lucky enough and do well, and it, and it's done right, and now you got something. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we went into tech, you know, normally there's two or three guys, there's a dozen, you know, they're trying to find something wrong and we go through that whole mess and they found a few things and, uh-huh. you know, and, and everything. And then we luckily went out and set the record right away with that, that motor. And I mean, really? that's a, that's a record that's 
probably may not be beating because we we beat it by 30 mile an hour wow. and wow. um and it just you got to spend a lot of money in them classes oh, yeah. because you know it's a f engine so it's three right. liters so it's you got tiny. a weird combination it's yep. not nothing you're buying off the shelf right, like a, right. you know ls and put a turbo on it i mean exactly. it's, we bet. made all of it blah, sure. blah blah so that that was a great start for us and then we and did george drive the car uh yeah he drove okay. it early uh-huh. early on and then and then he drove it uh i think a couple he went 279 we had a 279 record with a c motor in uh blown fuel uh he he had that for a while then he was kind of more got into just driving a speed demon it's too much to get in both of them which is understandable oh yeah and then then we graduated up to the fastest we went uh we went uh exit speed 320 in that thing really wow Wow. our goal was always to get you know that when i first started that project i called kugels Mm because they'd been three because they, in there, they went 300 in, their, in, in, in that Pontiac. In the Pontiac. Right, right. And then I called Jack Chisnell, good friend. had mm-hmm. been, you know, 250 in the Studebaker. In the Studebaker. So just kind of listened to him and then sifted through that advice. Uh-huh. And um, so then we were able to, the one year, it, it has. It was probably about 2011 or 12, we had seven passes over 300 in that thing in one week. Wow. And we set a two-way average at uh, basically 308. That's wow. great. But it was awesome. Yep. I mean, I, it I didn't really, realize it had gone yeah, that fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. And we, we had about 1,400 horsepower. Right. Mm-hmm. So then and what had, motor was it uh, then? That was an R5 Dodge. Okay. Yeah. You know, modified. Yeah. And then, so we had the bright idea of, well, okay, we did that, and it worked great. So we came home, and that's the open deck block. So we yeah. put it, we, I've got a big VM6 machining center. We put it in there and machined around all the jugs, machined a cast plate, pressed it in the top to uh-huh. keep the cylinders more stable. Right. Put a 118 turbo on it and put it on methanol. And made like wow. you know, went up meanies, went up uh-huh. to meanies. Yeah, okay, yeah. 2600 <laughs> horsepower, 1700 foot pounds, and then spun it out four times the next year. <laughs> we spun it. Too much power. Yeah, because right? John was still working on his traction control at the okay. time, you know, yeah. so it wasn't refined, and uh-huh. and, uh, um, and we spun it out at 290. Wow. So there's actually it's hands tw- down the fastest, yeah. probably maybe the fastest thing out there's ever spun backwards at it went 290 wow and uh, luckily it got backwards and got a little bit of air under the back because we have travel sensors mm-hmm. and it started to lift just a little bit and it tore the deck lid off settled down and just flat spun oh, okay so oh, we got man, lucky that's yeah. very lucky and when we it's usually built, what happens oh, it's a messy just, yeah, yeah. Boom. and uh when we built the car eaton i did a lot of stuff with eaton mm-hmm. in the day and, and uh they, I met a guy, I met a guy, and uh, the lead to aerodynamicist at the time for Chrysler, Terry DeConnick, was for NHRA and, and NASCAR, mm-hmm. and I, we got to meet him. So I brought, yeah. we brought it up like a day before Christmas one year when he had it in bare steel and had him look the car over and stuff, and he wasn't familiar with Bonifil, kind of telling him what yeah. you can and can't do. Yeah. Talked about stuff, came back, finished fabricating, and we spent 40 hours in Chrysler's wind tunnel with that car on okay. third shift. Well, you'd almost it have to saved us. that fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, it saved us. I yeah. mean, all that little stuff. And, and then Terry got excited about it, and he's, he'd come out to Bonneville with us and and uh, just had a lot of a lot of data. He did a lot of yeah. John wow. Force's yeah. data at the time. And that race takes a lot of and, power to go that yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah no but it was it made the car safe. For you know when we did spin it out, luckily mm-hmm. we didn't get so, in trouble. So so, uh, so this shows you how little I know about Bonneville. Traction control and sensors. Oh yeah. Yeah right. Oh, yeah. 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 I oh, had yeah. no yeah. idea. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. have forty channels of information. Now we run Motec on the Blowfish, which is mm-hmm. you know, wow. If as long as you're you, you can understand it all. It's incredible stuff. Yeah. As you know Jeff or. Yeah. You get it. Everybody's always at what, what's the best. You know, we've used it all. Mtron is another good one. We run mm-hmm. out of New Zealand. That we run that on our streamliner, and that has 802 sensors, and you can wow. really control the cylinders nice. And it's you know a quarter of the money of Motec. But yeah. um, so we use a little bit of everything. It's it's all what you can control. Jeff knows that better than anybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and, uh, yeah. no, I bet. Uh, you can, sure. It's like having the iPhone. You don't know how to use it. You might as well get a cheaper one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. yep. So get that flip phone out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so traction control. So. What is it actually doing? I mean, is it actually applying brakes and things? No, like that? it's like pulling yeah. power back. Yeah, the, yeah. what we oh, did pulls on power ours, of the motor. Okay, yeah, fine. What we did okay. in ours, it, we just take a reference from the front wheel to the rear wheel. Uh-huh. You know, that's what it's trying to balance. And when it mm-hmm. sees that, obviously, rear wheel going faster, we just start pulling timing back a little bit. Got like, it. A little bit, and then we could open the wastegate or whatever. Right. Right. Makes right. perfect sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. very good. But, so you start managing because think about it, you're racing on salt. Oh, I know. Yeah. Really narrow tire. You want the smallest footprint. Yeah, sure. There's a little friction. Yeah, right. Yeah, less frictional horsepower. You bet. Probably yeah, the one yeah. the one most unique thing on a blowfish that probably most people don't know is it was a one wheel peel. It was an really? open rear end. Really? Yeah. And Kugel told me that. He's like, because it was open, more stable. Yeah, run an open rear end. That way, if it does break loose, it won't check out on you. Okay. And and it worked wow. until we, the one year we spun it out, we were like, I think two. 60 wheel speed went into high gear and just too much boost and it went to like 340 it just and it got it enough sideways where it couldn't catch it but okay. all the other times wow. it would just spin the wheel a little bit and stay straight uh-huh. as an arrow wow so yeah okay yeah it's a yeah open I've, I've, one wheel peel I, I would not have guessed yeah. that would yeah. no that would not have been yeah. my choice yeah yep. but, one um, wheel peel so wow. and, and 
their effort, you got to give them all the credit in the world, but that was built on the stuff that that Lingenfelder did. Oh, absolutely. With the other guys with 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 the uh, with the Firebird that they tried yes. to do with with uh, Acres and and uh, yep. Carl Stagemeyer. Absolutely. And uh, we've actually had Carl Stagemeyer on the on, we did. on the show. Yes, and we did. Talked right. about that whole effort because they they of course spun out and the car actually did a pirouette. Yeah, it was not. And then yeah. came back down on the wheels, which was really yeah scary. lucky. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very Somebody lucky. was watching over them. Oh yeah. boy, because they and they and and people sometimes say, well, "How do you know that?" So because all the salt was stuffed, it ripped the parachute pack off. Yep. And all the all the salt was packed into the tail of the car. Yep. Well, the only way you get that is if your car's doing this. Yeah, right. So yep. <laughs> skating, along the, skating along the salt. Yeah. Yeah. And John was a, I mean, he was a big help in him early days, you know, because yeah. yeah. he was the brains, you know. So when you went to yeah. the dyno, you actually went to his yeah. house oh, yeah. and the dyno yeah. in his backyard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's got a garage behind his house. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they run this thing because uh, when I went up there he had invited me to come up to do a story on the on the, the latest version of his yep. five package Gen 4, yeah. and hardest story I've ever written most difficult story because I'm writing all these the acronyms down yeah. I have no idea what they mean yeah. <laughs> and you know you can only ask them oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You get is there anybody you? smarter than you yeah. in the room yeah that's the next question you get yeah <laughs> and so I would just write these acronyms down and then went home and tried to figure out what the hell he was talking about sure oh it was so difficult because I've learned that yeah. lesson when, through DFI I can ask him a couple of questions and then if I don't get the right answer I have to ask it again he's upset with yep. me right well John goes, you John, gotta figure it out John grew up in Piatone which is seven miles <laughs> north of Mantino oh really okay yeah, he not. grew up in Piatone. Like, oh, he's older okay. than me, so I didn't really know him. My uh -huh. parents kind of knew him. And then okay. I was building my 50 Buick. Um, that would have been about probably 91. Mm -hmm. And I had that 510 Siamese bow tie thing. And he'd, he'd heard I was building this Thanksgiving that uh -huh. I was working on it. And he comes walking in and introduces himself. Yeah. And, hey, what are you doing? And, yeah. and the rest is history. And yeah. yeah. So we did that three stage nitrous EFI yeah. motor and that. And, 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 and this, would, um, this would be a worthwhile podcast for us to do to, to yeah. do like. The generation of of aftermarket EFI. Oh yeah, because it all yeah, he's most, the of guy. It, most of yeah. it. Most of it, if it's if it's a, anything with, in late, related to outside of Motec and and the stuff that came from Australia and yeah. things like that. It's John. It's yeah. mostly John. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Holly, you talk about it. Fell Holly, if you yeah. holler the trail back far, far enough, it comes back to DFI. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we dynoed yeah. all yeah. our engines. My Buick uh, Rambler. I mean, everything we ever did, we dynoed up at his house. <laughs> yeah. you know, for a long time, and uh, <laughs> it was it was. It was I, fun. I yeah. was up there. It was it was two day, three days after PR, PRI, and we had this big snowstorm. And all we did was sit around every night and talk, tell John Lingenfelder stories. Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's that kind of struck me on it because we I did that his twin turbo Corvette. I did for him probably in I did the fabrication on it. and I'm going to say probably about '98. Okay. He and um, he brought it down, and I just did. You know, I didn't know nothing. I built the headers, did what he wanted, this and that. And I mean, that car kind of became legendary. Yeah. And yeah. and I never forget. Uh, Lingenfelter came over to the shop because he John wanted some cam secrets from John and uh -huh. John wanted some EFI stuff from John so it was kind of interesting and he and he'd heard about this Corvette uh -huh. and the car yeah. was a garbage but it was fast yeah. man so, yeah. so yeah. that started and that that spawned the chicane we did the twin turbo uh -huh. 62 Chevy for Glenn and then yeah. I've done yeah. probably six yeah. Six twin that turbo was a street car. cars. That yeah. was very cool. So we've had a lot yeah. of success in the, yeah. and half the stuff we still do is turbocharged. Uh -huh. So yeah. Um, yeah, did a turbocharged 401 nail nail head. Uh -huh. um, oh, it's that's all cool. dry sump yeah. in yeah. Yeah. trick and, uh, and and that's part of the movement mm -hmm. now, isn't it? The obscure engines yeah. in the street rod market. Yeah, it has kind to. Of fun? If you're gonna, it's it's real safe and easy, as you know, do an LS or an sure. LT because right. they're great. They sure. don't leak. You can make a ton of power. You don't got to get all goofy inside. Right. And 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 they work. But like to make a statement, you got. Gotta, you got to get outside the box because mm -hmm. um, it just that's a difference. Like we did a, um, we set a record four years ago in, in gas flathead uh, out at Bonneville Gas Roadster. Yeah, everybody yes. wants the fastest flathead. It might be one of the biggest classes, right? Wow. So you got to use a, you know forty nine to fifty two Ford block, not a French block. You got to <laughs> leave the valves in the block. Mechanical injection, no electronics. Wow. Those are the basically three. So anything really else goes. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. So. We, I took a flathead, cut it in four pieces in a bandsaw, and then we, we fixtured one piece onto uh, Bob, our engine guy's flow bench, uh -huh. took all the aftermarket cylinder heads, flowed it, yeah. and got the CFM number to start with, right? Because uh -huh. Bob, our, my old engine guy, he's like, yeah. you know, if you can't get the air in and out in this class, it's right. worth going any further. Not gonna, not gonna go well, we, we spent about five months, at, me and Lawrence that works for me, designing the, the combustion chamber with him. And made a bunch of acrylic ones, and we doubled the CFM. We got really, yeah, we doubled, we got 150 wow. out of it. Wow! And, wow. and maintain the compression because you can lose the compression on that motor instantly. Okay. And, okay. Uh, so we did all that, and, and so we made. So the, the stock 
flow on the intake valve was just like 70. 70. And we got it wow. to 150. <laughs> we got it to we went to a 18750 <laughs> valve and it's all sh- shrouded. It's, it was uh-huh. really interesting. Yeah. And uh, so we made this cylinder heads in two piece, filled the block, and then we we cut our intake runner down through the because we did a cam reverse, you know. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. you know and then so we, our intake runner goes through the water jackets. It's a straight shot to the valve. Wow. So so we we first cut it wow. all our, wow, cut, wow, wow. cut them in there, and then we filled the block and then went back and then cut them back out. Uh-huh. So we had a straight shot at the valve. Wow. And then, and then we took Kinsler motorcycle throttle bodies and bored them. Uh-huh. Sure. Had eight, sure. eight stack on it, mechanical injected, mm-hmm. and uh, we made three hundred and seven horsepower. At what, at what RPM? Uh, seventy two hundred. Seventy two hundred. Yeah. Wow, that's us, that's, uh, that's really spinning it. Cam and lifters and, is, no, but that and, is that still a three main bearing yes, motor. That one was. You we, went seventy two hundred yep, on a three yep. main. We did bearing. another. That's bearing. crazy. That's, that's insane. crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. And we went out first time, set the record. And that, I don't that doubt it. We, we, I don't doubt it. That yes. motor we filled with Devcon, so it started delaminating. That, that, yeah, yeah, that sure. Block had been bored out a lot, so sure. the cylinders were thin. They, uh-huh. you'd, you'd run it three, four times, and they're all hourglass. You know, it's six tight, three loose. Wow! You know, so, oh, wow. so we got our butt, we got our wow. butt kicked. So then we're like, you know what, this is unstable. Mm-hmm. So, but we got the record. So we took another un un uh, bored flathead. Okay. Okay. And uh, we did the same thing to it, but this time after we machined the runners, we I brought it up and we made a bunch of parts and vent tubes and we filled it full of aluminum okay and then we okay. went oh, that's and cool. machined it so now, now we got everything stable. inside is aluminum sure. yeah. 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 and that's yeah. the new motor we did and so then we're like well we're, we added nitrous so we can go to the fuel class okay and, and we're just gonna run it in gas and modified we made a track nose a lot of so we're like you know we're not still making a ton of power but let's go ahead and address the crank so we had a yeah. ghosted moldex crank so we really? did we did the other nice. two mains nice and then at the shop lawrence that works for me we designed the pan girdle so you the billet pan girdle, so you take and you mount the crank in the, on the bench and put the two mains on, flip it over, and goes in there. And it's got oil squirters in it. Nice. It's a pan girdle to, nice. to squirt the pistons. Okay. We made a billet pan, six stage wow. dry sump daily. And, wow. and we oil it from the bottom up. Now we change the oiling, we backwards okay. oiling. And I mean, it's it's really something. I mean, it looks like wow. about, about uh, an 80 That's F1 quite the engineering motor. feat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, wow. I think we're more excited going 168. Than like going 320 with the bridge. Oh, you bet. Because yeah. it's time. You either get it right, you know, yeah, right. it's a little bit of time and fuel. That's all you can do. Yep. You bet. So it was, yep. uh, it was really uh, gratifying. Wow. Uh, yeah, no, I had no idea. Oh, yeah, That's... we're into some really weird stuff. And we're doing a, right now, one of our next projects is a, we're doing a 39 Hudson pickup. So I wouldn't have picked we're that We're taking the fenders <laughs> off. So no fenders. Yes. Okay. And it's going to look like a, like a, a sprint truck from the day. Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. We're going to make okay. the bed, chop the cab. Oh, that's up, cool. Torsion bar. How we fun. have a 1936 V12 Cadillac twin turbo inje- fuel injector. Wow. wow! It's the overhead valve motor. It's the real tall one. Okay. So, so you okay. got that out of a wrecking yard? Is that what you're saying? I bought it. I've had to buy the whole car. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, bet. They're pretty rare. I um, bet. Yeah. yeah 30, yes. 39 Hudson truck with a uh, V12 Cadillac. So. V12 Cadillac. And then from 1936. So it's yes. the overhead valve. Oh yeah. The war. Then they went to the flathead after. Yeah. Okay. You bet. And then um, what's what's the displacement? Uh, like it's it's small. Yeah. Yeah. It's not big. 230 inches. Yeah. 240 maybe. 240. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh. So pistons are this big. Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting engine. So that's a fun one that we're doing in uh well it's it's funny because i've i've been working in the peterson archive and i'm finding all these obscure things but yeah you know as we know and as you talk to any of the outside folks you know the octogenarians who are walking around here right they that that was the way they built cars i mean it was always obscure yeah. you know, swaps they, they, and transmissions yeah right you, you bet did. you yeah. ran what you did it wasn't all small block chevrolets and mm-hmm. four speeds yep. so yeah. that kind of thing is you know kind of going back and obviously i understand that's why cool. that's why that's really exciting because yeah. It's not the same old thing. No, mm-hmm. that's the X factor for something like that, right? Yeah. Like the the thirty six that we brought here uh, this weekend, we built the car from scratch, and it's a thirty six high boy, obviously, which Ford never made. Everybody said, "Man, it'd be neat if they'd have done that." And a couple yeah. guys have taken the fenders off; they look terrible. Yeah. So this, and we built the body from scratch and everything, and it's reproportioned. But the engine choice in that was a Y block because Ross were building it for us. Got kind of a fifties hot rod collection, so okay. it's sure. kind of a fifties hot rod motor. Yeah, yeah. You bet. so we just took a fifty six Y block, but it's got an old VR fifty seven on it, the old blower. Okay, and nice. then we yeah. sent it to yeah, guy nice. in Texas, and he puts uh-huh. the new guts mm-hmm. in it and uh-huh. puts it on his Rancho and test yeah. drives it and yeah. um, and blowing through that three. That was a McCulloch super. Yeah, 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 it? yeah. McCulloch. It was a ball drive. Yes, absolutely. So we took out Which, all that. All the, the all that Mickey Mouse <laughs> nonsense and put new, it's got late model parts in it. Oh, but yeah, it looks okay. the same. Okay. The super 
Yeah, you're talking about the supercharger. supercharger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's got three two barrels on electronic, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and uh, we made all the front drive and that. But like those wow. engines, even we go to the extent of, you know, we make the valley pan, the valve covers, oil pan, we machine all that. But mm -hmm. the only gasket in that motor is is the head gaskets. Really? Everything else is O-ringed. We wow. O-ring the we O-ring and dowel pin the timing cover, the water yeah. pump. Makes sense. Wow. Oil pan, wow. valley pan. Yeah, it makes know, good so, sense. So obviously. we spend a lot of time on the function side of those motors. Yeah, the fitment um, is just going to be perfect. Yeah. Has anybody yeah. ever done anything on your flathead motor that you did? It, you know, it there's a story? great uh, wheel hub, followed it, and, and we did a bunch of pictures. Okay. And they, they've got the whole thing to do the article, but they've never put it in there yet. And, I mean, it's, huh. it's like, because I want, uh -huh. I actually, I don't ask for anything, but I'm like, uh -huh. you guys really need to, like, oh, yeah. get a grip on this thing be because yeah, it's you serious. Bet. I yeah, mean, and you the bet. parts that... The parts that we made for the thing are, I mean, absolutely. Oh top my gosh! Down. Yeah. And uh, so they do have all the information and pictures, and oh. uh, I really they haven't done it yet, but I mean, it's, sure. it's really interesting. So if they have all the information in the photos, all they need is someone to just got to put it together. You know, you know anybody? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that's not them. Trust me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because that's really technical. I mean, yeah. You'd get all of it, but oh, it's right. super. Yeah, yeah. We run LS. So we run LS1 beehive valve springs in it. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, a bunch that's of cool. weirdo stuff. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's good. But it's super trick. I mean, because you use the technology that's developed. Might as well. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. No, it's yeah. it's mega mega trick, and wow. uh, um, the the parts th that we made. I mean, and it's you know it's about a thousand dollars a horsepower. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No kidding. It's three hundred grand like, to make three hundred. But yeah, yeah, kind of like pro stuff. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Stuff. But but you understand. I mean, some guy. Oh, I, you know, just spend the money on it. No, because I got two other guys I know personally that are in the class that are customers that right. have spent twice that and they're twenty off the record. Yeah. So it's not. It is the money, but it's not. Because yeah. It's not. If you ain't got the right group of guys That's doing right. it. You bet. You yeah. could throw all the money in the world. Yeah. You're not going to get there. And, yeah, and you with, when you're developing stuff like that, you make one decision early on that's not the right one oh, yeah. takes you off of this tangent you and you never and then, know what happened and you didn't know what happened yeah. you almost have to come back to here all the way start back. over to yes. go but this you way. have to know to come yeah. back to that point you right. have to know right. to come back yes. that, which yeah. is not Absolutely. necessarily obvious no it's no. not it's not like on tv yeah. where they, no. they plant this yeah. clue in the you know the, yeah. the camera's on the clue for five seconds like yeah. Yeah. that's important that's pro, right yeah, yeah. you don't yeah. get that when you're doing this kind of like automotive survivor yeah 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 Hey, we'd like to thank our sponsor, ARP-Bolts.com. we got a fantastic little backdrop here. They make an outstanding series of bolts, almost anything you would need for engines, chassis, things like that. In fact, we were at lunch today, and a guy asked you about the, the, the bolt on the back of your shirt, and, it was, and, it was really, and I said, well, it's really about a head bolt. They neck the, 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 the stem down of the bolt on a short small block Chevy head bolt, so the clamp load is even across three different head bolt lengths on a small block Chevy. And, uh, you know, so that, that's the kind of technology that you get out of sure. ARP. And uh, we, we've all got stories on all that right. stuff. Well, but, for a uh, translation of what he said, call ARPbolts.com. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the message is that you can't get any better than that. No, you so cannot. There yep. you go. Nope. Excellent. And then just check them out at ARP-bolts.com. We'd like to thank our friends at InTheGarageMedia.com. They have three fantastic magazines. They've got Classic Truck Performance. They have Modern Rotting and my favorite, All Chevy Performance, with Nick, my buddy Nick, oh, you're the so editor. Biased. So Correct. yes, of course. Yes. But uh, they're doing print media, which yes. is, uh, of course, our favorite. So uh, in color magazine. and everything. In color and everything, yes. and and you can get your your car on the cover of one of those books, right. which is right. a fun well, that's deal. A lot. Great yeah. tech. You can Great tech. By you, you know, and not always written by me, but yeah. People. Yeah. Not yeah. always written by me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so pick it up and read it. At yes. InTheGarageMedia.com, and uh, they're our friends, and uh, they will thank you. So it, it was really, uh, man, it was really something. I'll never forget the day wow. we're on a flow bench, and we got to 150, man. I mean, <laughs> it, it, was, was like, it was dancing in the street. That was right? easy. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. yeah, it was. It was really uh, yeah. really cool. I mean, it was wow. uh, what a challenge. And, and, and who, who are you building these for? Uh, Matt I... Jewell is a guy. He's in Davenport, Iowa, and he's got a – it's an interesting story. Do I know that name? For some um, reason, that sounds familiar. It's Jewell Machine. He's got a couple cars. Maybe not. Uh, okay. And he's in Davenport, okay. you know, because he's around John Deere and all. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. he's got a huge machine shop, and they service like John Deere, Case, Bobcat, okay, uh, you know all that kind of stuff. And he had raced at Bonneville for four years in that class, four different engines, to the point where he'd pick the engine up from the guy and he'd tell him X horsepower. He'd go out there and run the same speed. Yeah. So he's like, "What's yeah. going on?" He bought his own dyno even to verify because wow. he's wow. like, "What's really? going on?" Yeah. And we had we had brought uh, we'd built a um, a. 34 Roadster for Mariani's, a maroon, um, it was a street Roadster. We okay. built, and it was, we really stretched the rule book on it. And okay. uh, we went out there and s it's set four or five records now in a, and he's seen that. He's like, man, this is kind of interesting. Called, introduced himself. He's mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm from Davenport. I've got Bonneville. And 
So he came over and we talked. He wanted to build a new car. I'm like, your car's pretty good, you know. Let's let's look at the engine. Yeah. So we did the engine project, and uh, um, it was good because he he's got massive machining capability. But he let us, okay. you know, he let us do what we do, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and it and it's. Uh, it really, it and really that's works. impressive because you yeah. guys are not necessarily known no. as engine builders. No, you're, you're not car really. Builders. Yeah, yeah. But we do. But you, you know, just took the project on. And yeah, said, we, we can do because right? you know we, we he he knew we did the four cylinder the thing and right. you know and all V eight stuff. Mm -hmm. The V eight stuff's one thing. It's kind of more right. just putting the right parts together. But yeah. the four cylinder was one off, and then obviously that was, and then yeah. and then we'd done all these weird engines. Yeah. But uh, it it was. It was a great challenge, and um, he's bet. the guy that we're building Hudson and truck for. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. very cool. So yeah. He's got a really cool. I can't get enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's got a really <laughs> cool perspective yeah. on things. You I think know? he's, he's yeah. you know, the desire has been planted. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you it's bet. it's fun, and then um, and we have the technology. I bought a really good. I've got the best creoform scanner they make. You know, it's nine tenths of a thousand. So we wow. we scan them blocks, and I mean, it's it's funny. You'll you'll appreciate this. So we we scan that flathead. Uh huh. And and the the basically the mains aren't you know in their exact spot so the so the kind of wander around by time, yeah by the time we did the Molex crank and all that well uh -huh. the, the the journals for the the rods aren't in the center per se so we knew exactly where everyone was at like you know it's like ten or fifteen thousand it's not much but right. we're yeah. looking for maximum efficiency sure. so that's friction. so we actually took after we had the connecting rods and we put them in our CNC and we on the small end we'd cut them left to right and mm -hmm. move the piston to the center yeah so that's yeah. where like that scanner really is yeah. incredible yeah. wow and we do a lot of front <laughs> drives and like the the V12 is going to have a 4L65 behind it because okay. you have that removable bell, bell housing. Yeah. yeah, nice. So we've scanned it all and set up the torque converter, making our own bell make housing own bell right. house. to go sure. to the 4L65 yeah. sure. from that Cadillac yeah. motor. Nice. Stuff. But really make it work right. You know, Boy, yeah. not not just yeah, it works and it'll get you there. I mean, really, really do it right. I, so, I yeah. really want to see that Cadillac. Yeah, that yeah. Old, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be cool. And we're doing motor. a right yeah. currently doing a 40 Cadillac LaSalle flathead, nice. where we scan the whole thing and we stroke the crank a half inch. Wow. On it and ran it through all the software. And I, and I own all the software, but I'm a TIG welder. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I own it all and, and work with them, but I'm, I'm wow. not a software. I'm not a technology guy. But yeah. So we, we, we stroked it a half inch, and it's turbocharged and really? injected. You know, and with that, a, a six-speed transaxle <laughs> what's that, what's in, a, in a 40 Cadillac LaSalle convertible. 40 Cadillac. Wow. For West Rydell. That's very right. cool. Yeah, so really kind of neat neat package, too. And, yeah. Uh, um, so a lot of, lot of neat uh yeah. Need engines. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I had a question yeah. for you. Old engine stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That is crazy. And this is kind of going reeling back. I remember seeing, you sent me a photo one time of a third gen Camaro that was going yep. through that whole yep. thing. Did that ever get completed? We're painting it right now. Believe You're it painting it right yeah. now. We waited for the right time. You know, now it's hot and it uh -huh. is really something. I mean, yeah. it's a. You know, it, it looks the, like an IMSA road race car. It, it know, looked like that. That's, yeah. that's, Did you see these photos? No. That's it's what we crazy. made it look like, yeah. you know. And we've been working on it, honestly, for 15 years. I know. Really? Because I know. Because I was I a Flowmaster when I first saw out of it for five years <laughs> doing it. He was an engineer at GM for 40 years. Okay. And, there you and, go. you know, had 3,000 miles on it, and he uh -huh. started taking it apart. And I met him, and, you know, and so, yeah. we, so we work on a little bit, and then... And then build two cars, and work on a little bit. Build mm -hmm. two cars, and then kind of, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of. I would love time. to see that. I mean, it, it was is just beautiful. I'm telling I mean, you, it was all so in it's metal. A twin yeah. turbo 406. Yeah. You know, daily dry sump. Uh -huh. uh, 480. The cage is very orga organic in it. It's all okay. kind of weird formed on the Pomax. It's yeah. all Motec. Okay. Um, it's got uh, 488 Ferrari brakes on it that are just, I mean. Really? I've studied that for a long time on what caliper nobody's used in this industry, uh -huh. and, and came <laughs> across that and then finished <laughs> it in the way I want. So yeah. it's, it's 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 got F1 wheel hub, the real legit like you know nuts and hubs. Oh and yeah, really. oh yeah. Because yeah. I, mean, wow. I want it to be legit, and it's and it's yeah. modern color. It's called mm -hmm. squid ink blue, so it's a weird color. You know, nice. it kind of fits more of this modern mm -hmm. stuff, uh -huh. and not a nice. lick of carbon fiber on it. I okay. refuse to do really? that because yeah. that's the trend, right? So I went it exactly, is. Exactly. Absolutely the other way. Very right? pop, yeah, and, very, uh, very true. But it's, yeah, we're painting it right now, and it's really something. I mean, it ain't for everybody, you know, I mm -hmm. would say. You know, what what color? What color are, is it? It's squid ink blue. Oh, the whole car. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it's right. kind of, we did squid like Squid ink blue. Yeah, we're so doing this. dark. Uh, you know, it's all angular. You've seen it. So in the door area, we're going to do a satin. We, we, we do a lot. Like, we take this, We on all the jobs you do, we take the, the, the stock mix and paint a lot of the car, but then we just play with it. We add black to it. Uh, a lot of times, and then we do satin, so it's okay. in the same tone. You know, okay. they, they work well together. So right. it'll have like a satin panel on the side, and we're going to play mm -hmm. off that I rock. It ain't going to say I rock. I think it's say like F eighty seven, but uh -huh. kind of yeah. play off a little bit of what it was. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and, and stuff. But if well, you appreciate fabrication, want to yeah. see something different? Yeah, it, it'll be fun to look at. It's not for everybody. Right. But An it's IRS a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no, it's no, it's got a uh, um, uh, the big. Um, 
gosh darn it, Mark Williams, the big oh, okay. crazy that yeah, all oh, the wild yeah, the flange center yeah, section. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, it it uh, the one thing about it is it just I don't know it's 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 definitely unique. But mm-hmm. like, and we're not social media guys, and our we don't do much on our website. But like, sure. if you put a picture of that thing up, they flip it will out. out hit. Oh, you bet. If you everything I built combined, it'll it'll triple it. Really, it's it's, it's really yeah, there's a crowd really out there unusual. with them cars. It's, uh-huh. Oh yeah, is unbelievable. Well, that third generation when they first showed up in '82, they were revelational. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that was oh, a yeah. really good looking car, and then yeah. they slowly modified it. And I had a lot of fun with those cars because oh, yeah. so there's a lot of uh, as opposed that to the was fun, our era. That as was opposed our to the era, Gen fours, yeah. uh, which never hit with me. But mm-hmm. anyway. Those were good-looking cars to begin with. I remember yeah. seeing one in the um, the proving, not the proving grounds, but in the um, design center, mm-hmm. at the tech center at uh, Chevrolet, uh-huh. and I uh, thought that was an unbelievable car. So what you've done, yeah, it's just cool. Builds on and that. You can still, you know what it is. I mean, you right. look at it; it's it's, yeah. it's whacked out, but you still, yeah, absolutely yeah. know what it is. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. I mean, it's you bet. not. We didn't lose it Very there, cool. but yeah, it's Very it's cool. really something. I mean, it's uh, it, it it's a it's an eye turn. I just really like the color it came together right on it and nice. um, paying so attention to it's a, it's a details. dark blue. Yeah, it's kind of a dark, muddy, grayish blue. Okay. Milky. Okay. You know, okay. we're, we're kind of known for weird colors, so yeah. Yeah. it's kind of a milky, <laughs> snotty, I call it. There like you I go. told Joe that owns it, I go, if it pulls up and you turn around, you the first thing in your head better be snotty. <laughs> if they say it's pretty, then we do need to crush it. Yeah, something, <laughs> you know, something's wrong Because it here. needs to be snotty. <laughs> you bet. And, uh, you uh, bet. I mean, it's legit. I yeah. mean, it's, it's really something. And then we you took bet. all the, just trying to, you know, like all the ARP bolts, you know, took all the 12 points and, mm-hmm. you know, lighten them up. So, and then, right. and then we're putting them, Matt, actually, uh, my customer with the flathead, they make cutting tools for a living also. Okay. So they've got all the vapor deposition coatings, you know, like when you put the tungsten on the cut- cutters where they, mm-hmm. you know, they 2000 degrees spin it and it yeah. vapor impregnates and all this other business. So wow. we're doing some samples right now on some ARP bolts. Cause really? I, don't, I want them like, like a different color. Okay. But I, okay. but but you got to be able to wrench on them and not tear them up. Yeah, sure. exactly. You know, it's got to exactly. be functional. Yeah. So yeah. we're just trying to do a lot of different little mechanical things. Like that. Very cool. Um, they make the best stuff. They do. There's no oh, yeah, competition. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're yeah. they're. Uh, I agree. Uh, hands yeah. down. I mean, yep. I've got. Yep. My dad has, I think, the record. Uh, when he was alive, he when he, the quick backstory on ARP. So I was a sniper driving it cross country uh-huh. that year, yeah. and uh, about '97 probably, and. I don't know where we were at, around the middle of nowhere, and this guy comes walking up and he goes, "Hey, I like your bolts." You know, he's looking at the engine. It was mm-hmm. and it was Bob Flooring. Yeah. And uh, and he, I go, "Oh yeah," I said, "I got them at my local hot rod shop, Winter Circle." Yeah. He goes, "Oh, Jim." You know, yeah. he knew the name. I'm like, oh, "This guy, <laughs> this guy. There you go. You know, we're in Uncle Homer <laughs> yeah. somewhere." Yeah. And he goes, oh, "Size you seven. Jim? Yeah. I go, "Yeah." I go, "How yeah. do you know him?" He goes, yeah. "He introduced himself." Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I mean, took care of us from the from that day on. Yeah. Because I was yeah. buying them, and because I'm I'm a fastener guy, big time, and so. My dad, you know, Bob's like, hey, you know, send us what you need, you know, and this and that. And I think we got the first order we got from him was probably 700 pounds is on pallets. <laughs> I think Bob said it's the largest free order they sent out. So, so it was, I've got literally four, I've got everything they make, no. literally. Yeah. I'm a, it's a kind of, a, I guess I'm going to call it a stocking dealer. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then they do a lot of special stuff for us too. And, sure. Um, well, about, with all these yeah. unique engines, you're Yeah, we do a lot of crazy, oh, yeah. you know, all their studs all, Like all, the, all those flathead yeah, motors crazy have studs their own stuff, stuff right? yeah. You make long studs, so they go yeah. down to the bottom yeah. of the cylinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you got to tie them, some of them together. Yeah. Otherwise and that's something apart. Uh, I didn't even know, realize at first, was that they'll do anything for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. If no, you give them a custom. real spec and what yeah. you're doing and, yeah. right. you know, and all that stuff, they'll build it for yeah, you. And, 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 it's, and it's free. They give it yeah. to you for you. Yeah, and they have a lot of, they have a lot of stuff <laughs> that nobody even knows about. Yes. You know, oh, so if you far. want to call them extras or whatever. By um, far. Um, by they can have a whole catalog just on that stuff, yeah. you know, but... Um, and they'll make anything you want as long as you give them ample time, which I'm not good at that. You know, <laughs> I need it yesterday because I'm a bad planner. But uh, and like I told, I tell Bob, I'm like, you know, we I buy a lot of stuff from ATEC, you know, mm-hmm. and I mean daily, and I buy a lot of bolts from there. I don't, I don't beat, I don't go back and beat these guys up. You know, they yeah. help me get going. Sure, and I'll, I'm using their stuff and I buy their stuff. Flowmaster yeah. mufflers, I that's yeah. all. It's all I still use. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, like on this 36, we brought. I, I really love the, the laminar flow stuff. And yeah. I remember talking to Ray about it mm-hmm. and sure. how he designed it and the yeah. whole theory behind it. Oh, and I yeah. was lucky yeah. to be around that in the you know, late Ray, 90s. Ray Fluger, yep. the original. Brilliant yeah. man. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh, and that's just the right sound. Yeah. So, But I want a little nicer can. So I take the guts out and I make my own can and yeah, print it enough. up. And, mm-hmm. But yeah. I get the sound that I want. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, um, so I spent a lot of time with it. So him. tell us yeah. about this car on the show. So we brought, uh, so we did this 
Ross Myers who were building the Ford. We built, we won the Riddler Award in 07 with a 36 Ford 3 window. Uh -huh. And it was for the same gentleman. And uh, he had bought the car. My dad met him at the, uh, I think it was the 40th anniversary of the Mustang in Nashville. I okay. wasn't there. And he came in the booth asking some questions. I think we had that eBay Mustang we did uh -huh. there. And uh, he was asking questions this and that. My dad's like, hey, I think this guy wants to you know, do a Riddler. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So everybody does, right? Sure. Yeah. So he showed up. Got a plan. Yeah, we, we were got unveiling a, plan. a couple cars at the shop, and he showed up, and uh, and and I met him, and he's showing me that he had been working on it for five years, you know. Okay. And, um, and, and he tells me the story. You know, I bought the car when I was nine years old for twenty five dollars. Wow. And right then I knew I had the right guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm I mean, true. This is a true believer. The yeah. right guy. Yeah. He goes, yeah. I put it in my my dad's barn and. Uh, and you know, I knew I always whenever when you have enough money to do it and this mm -hmm. and that. So anyway, so we we took the car, built it, and luckily we won. And um, so then about uh, gosh six years ago, uh, he said, hey, you know, I'd like to. I think we're at Seam. We had lunch, and he's like, I'd like to have a, a contender at Amber's. You know, thirty six Ford. I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, man, not another damn three window. You know, <laughs> I don't like. We don't do that many cars, so I don't want to do the same thing. Same ever. thing again, yeah. And then Adam that works for me. And, and Ross kind of at the same time goes, but, uh, you know, fenderless. And they're like, okay, now we're talking. Yeah. Now we got a challenge. Yeah. Right. So yeah. the idea came up about, you know, five, six years ago, and then we were busy, so we waited. So we've been, we got going on it. We've got about 16 months in it now. So mm -hmm. it's our version of a fenderless 36 Ford, which, you know, a lot of the true Ford guys thought would have been a great thing for Ford to make, but they didn't. Some mm -hmm. guys have tried to take the fenders off the cars and they look terrible so okay. this one's all reproportioned and mm -hmm. we built everything but we didn't the tires and the engine block basically i mean we wow. built the radiators the steering columns you know modify the mufflers the body's built from scratch wow uh, the frame it's all torsion bar wow. um and it's a y block with the vr57 blower and uh -huh. uh, it's, it's just the x factor is it's a 36 high boy you know mm -hmm. and i and we adam that works for me that's here he did all the body. It's all his brainchild on the, on the look of it. And, I mean, it is. The, I have So there's not a single panel that's the nothing, same. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. No, we made all of it. Because once it, you start yeah. changing the proportions, it, you, it wasn't worth it. starting with a Roadster because their yeah. bodies are expensive and they're rare, and you're just you're not using any of it. Mm -hmm. So so we did have an original one just to make all the die sets off of. So uh -huh. at least the stampings look correct, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a long time since I've got uh, wow. the response, like, and, and I like this show because this is by far the biggest group of guys that know what they're looking at mm -hmm. from a quality standpoint, especially yeah. like in metal shaping and stuff. So, yeah. so we brought it here raw, and it's about eighty percent done. Uh -huh. um, but it's uh, it's it's really it's it's our best by fifty percent right. of anything we've done by far, wow. and it'll drive well because I did we did a Model A a few years back here um, with torsion bar and all that. Steve Mole helped me and kind of get the idea of that stuff, and I mean mm -hmm. it is a fabulous driving car. The uh -huh. torsion bar stuff's really good. Um, I recommend uh, painting it uh, hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably pull that off. Yeah, you do that? you probably could. Or, the, or, the mint, or the mint green. Yeah, and that, that comes up all the time, like all these colors. Like, what were you doing? I'm like, well, first of all, I didn't have a lot of money, and I like, I just want to see different stuff. Sure. Sure. And it's not yeah. for everybody. Right, right. But right. You, how you get the biggest bang for your buck exactly. is part of it, like painting the bumpers. I didn't have the money to you chrome bet. them. You know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So that whole monochromatic thing was good. But, sure. But it was more just giving people something fresh to look at. Yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, you can yeah. do the nicest job on something, but if, if they're sitting there looking at it and com comparing their head to, oh, yeah, it looks like it's the one Jim did, or, you mm -hmm. know, and you're comparing sure. it, you missed it. When, yep. you know, when you're looking yep. at something and you've done it right, and, you, and it's like, man, I have not seen this stuff done like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They yeah. should sure. have something. Yeah. That's yeah. what we strive for now. I and mean, it works good for yeah. the covers. The oh, it's covers fantastic. Too, because they, any no. bright color like that, man, they're just going to no. jump right on it. I yeah. went to Australia in 07 for the Street Machine Nationals. I was a Grand Marshal. Yeah. And... I, they had a little booth set up for me, and, you know, I was there all day. And I'm telling you, I signed 10,000 of them <laughs> centerfolds of the 60 Chevy. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah, unbelievable. It was like it's the only car I ever built. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it was, and they all had them still, and they were perfect. And because uh, they were always a few years behind us over sure. there. Sure, right, yeah. right. And it was, it was actually, it was amazing how they really pay attention over there mm -hmm. to yeah. what we're doing. And, yeah. and, and luckily, through all the... Featherston and all the guys right. and Hot Rod. Sure. I had yeah. a pretty good presence over there. I, I went so. in '88 to the Street Machine Nationals. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Featherston and yeah. all, all that. Chick, Chick Henry. Chick Henry. Yeah. yeah. Who was just great like a, guy. He just yeah. passed just away. Just passed away. Great yeah. guy. So, so it was uh, quite the place. Yeah, we and, lost uh, David too. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. about three yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah David's yeah. gone, but um, good people. Yeah, really good people. Yeah. He was such a good friend. Yeah, you know, had so many uh, great oh, stories yeah. with him. Oh, yeah. He'd come in with that filtered, uh, you know, that kind of horizon look. Yep. To yeah, him. that was yep. his definite. He had his awesome. classic yeah. Yeah. image. So, yeah, but exactly. uh, but that's yeah. what made him special, and he was a really he was really good at what he did. And they were always good to enter. You know, I was a young guy in this, and in the beginning, they were always gracious enough to always introduce you to the right people mm-hmm. and yeah. that was climbed the ladder yeah that was really david of it. Yeah. david was really good and, and mcclellan you know, yeah uh, uh, kevin but um yeah david really liked when he could help uh, grow a lot of that stuff yeah. and, and he was he was very good at it you know yeah brought me on to flowmaster and that was yeah. a very good a very good period of time yeah so no it was very uh, cool all, yeah. the, all the good people that have went you know oh yeah uh, you know, it's it's too bad. But we got uh, uh, we can yeah. say that uh, all day long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah, yeah. that yeah. guy, that yeah. guy died last yeah. week. You say, <laughs> yeah, he was a good guy. Well, that's part of part of it, especially yeah. for you because you started so young. Yeah, I got yeah, in so with that know. group. You know, yeah. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Did. Saw most of a lot of them are gone now. But I was very lucky. You know, because yeah. somebody would come up to me, oh, do you see so and so? I'm like, oh, who's that? Yeah. yeah, it's you know, and they're doing a good, decent job with some internet. I don't know who they are. I understand the internet. Yeah, but that's a YouTube is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. Our joke is if it doesn't happen in the shop, we don't know about it. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't that's keep a, your mind fresh. That's a good but place to be. But all kinds of things happen because stay, it's stuff that you're doing. Right. right. If you right. stay yeah. off of it, like from a designing a car standpoint, mm-hmm. right? Right. I can understand taking bits and pieces to learn and, you know, for a younger guy. But yeah. for us, it's we don't look at or not on it at all because we don't want to be influenced by anything. Right? That's great. We want to take yeah. what we're doing and let it that's influence great. you. Yeah. Make it your so idea. That, yeah. And it's, it's yeah. really worked for us. So yeah. Yeah. we kind of stay away from and it. And I think it's been fairly successful. It's been. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's I would been, say. Uh, I would yeah. say. That's awesome. Well, listen, thanks so much for yes, coming sir. up, man. This has been a lot yeah. of fun. Thank you, yeah. I had no idea Blowfish had gone that fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. We're slow now. We got, we have a Jessel gave me a couple NA motors. We're going to dodge in it again, but yeah. like 240 or 299 inches. Only yeah. 240 yeah. miles an hour. <laughs> we know it's safe because we spun at 290. So. There you go. So. Spin and win. Yeah. Yeah. Spin and win. Yeah. A Absolutely. Lot of fun. A lot of fun. Awesome. Really yeah. good to well, see you. We want to thank our sponsor, arp bolts.com helping us out to do all the stuff we couldn't do without them. And also the guys at uh, Grand National Roaster Show, John Buck and, and, uh, Kevin, and Kevin. Kevin. And... Um, if you like what we're doing here, we're going to keep telling stories. Watch us, and we'll keep doing it.